Well, here we go. Did it make it up the stairs and not blow up? And not short circuit internally. Let's find out. Ready? Go! Cool! Off it goes! Oh, it's nice and cool! <laughs> Air conditioning. Sorted. Nice, looking good. I've still got to seal the bottom up, obviously, so it's heating the table up. But yeah, look at this. Ooh. That's nice. And there's the air off. All we've got to do now is strip down two more and get more calls out of these. Cool, what a beauty. There's no screws. <laughs> That's useful. Keep that. If you want to you filter the air coming in, it's dusty. Oh, I found some screws. Oh, hello. And it comes off, does it? I'm thinking that air handling unit's got promise to be an evaporator. What I'm thinking is to save time, I might be able to make an air handling unit out of this. So, let's cut some plastic. Ooh. Why did I do that, you ask? Well, it's method in the madness. Look. Got myself a filter. Yes. It's looking pretty good. I know for a fact if I want to cut through this table, I'd be in big trouble. They're already annoyed that they haven't got a paper shredder. <laughs> but what's better, paper shredder or air conditioner? air conditioner. So yeah, the, the plan was, I thought this was a nice neat little unit. It's got, it's got, got a, quite a decent blower fan motor on it, which is going to move a decent amount of air. Yes, yeah, so you see that, that fits on there nicely, seals up nicely. 
and I can slide that um, air filter in there, put a nice new filter in it, and that can be the air in for the room, and it'll be filtered. And the air out is simply going to go into this box and then get uh, shot up, shot up out of the cooling outtakes. Hey, I think it's going to be good. Oh, and what I was thinking, what I was thinking, I can use. Uh, well, no, I'm going to modify this. I'm going to get that. I'm going to keep this condenser as an, as an evaporator, right? But I think I'll take this out and put another thinned evaporator in there. So you've got two thinned evaporators getting nice and cold. Hey. So yeah, it looks quite easy to split apart. It's got these little clips everywhere, and the whole unit just splits apart like that. So I think. I'll keep this because this is really cool. It's a bit of a clean. Here we go, got the uh, evaporator out of the. It's, this is more suited to be a dehumidifier than an air cooler because it just doesn't have the surface, the surface area. We need uh, fins on there, so we need something a lot smaller and better than that. Made an air handling unit. I've now got one evaporator there, I've cleaned it. It's all right, I guess. Wait, let's focus. There we go. Clean that up, and clean the other one up. So the the air has to run through both of these evaporators now. So it just basically increases the surface area, and each one of these is going to go to each compressor. Um, and I've, you see, I've cut some polystyrene out to make it fit in there quite nicely. Yeah, should be pretty cool. Let's put this air handler together, and I'll show you the finished product. Well, that's it. Modified air handler. So that's air in, it's all sealed up nicely, and air out, cold air comes out the back here. That'll pump into that top bit of the paper shredder, and I'll have another fan to blow it out the lid with some force. Should be good. So for now, let's put this away. I'm gonna move on to the finishing off that condensing unit. Right, here's one of my condensers. I was forced to use this uh, two Samsung RS21 evaporators um, and what they did have on one end because they are evaporators they had this um, very small pipe so I can't that's going to cause a restriction um, so I could have brazed onto the end of here because there's a there's enough travel I could have uh, cooled this down before it got to this soft aluminium but where I've had to cut it to get the 7 mil pipe, which is funny, funny size, it's 7.5 7 mil to get that pipe there. Now I'm so close to the soft aluminium weld that I can't braze that now, so I thought it was a good opportunity to show you what lock rings are. And um, basically, if you're in a place where you notice I've shined them all up, if you're in a place where you can't cause any sparks or stuff like that, lock rings are great. Or if you can't have any hot, hot works going on, you need to make a joint on a refrigeration system. Lock rings are there. They're very expensive, but you know, they're like um, four pound per ring. So yeah, you shine them up like that. And here's a lock ring. And here's the lock ring pliers. These, these things are beefy. Look at them. Basically these open up and squish. That goes in there and it goes down onto the pipe. It's got some horrible stuff that you put on the copper that sort of welds it together to this brass thing. Lock prep 65G. Um, right, so yeah, you just pop a little bit on each pipe. <laughs> cut your end off. Hey, <laughs> let me cut that end off. Right, yeah, cut me end off. <laughs> so you just apply a small amount of lock prep to the joint, that's too much, but it's all right. Spin it around a bit. And then get the other pipe you want to join on. This one. Put a little bit of prep on that one as well. Get them in there. Spin it round to just move the prep around. And then get your jaws on. Try and do this from up above so it can work on camera. And 
sometimes you need three hands when doing this. I'm going to use my shoulder. <laughs> Just use my shoulder. And that's uh, a locker ring joint. Beautiful. It's almost done. Let me show you how far I've got. You remember the condenser? Well, now it's got a really bodged up condenser in there. So we've got the two compressors, blower with filter. Check out the filter. Awesome. Siliconed on. See? Silicone. Um, it's all piped in now, and I'm just about to gas it. Awesome, let's put some gas inside it. And then up the top here, I'm just working on the evaporator. I'm just working on some panels to seal it, seal the airflow between the top and the bottom, because we can't exactly have these big holes here. Otherwise, hot air is going to get drawn up into where we want the cold air. And that would be like an, uh, a heat short circuit. We don't want that. Got our evaporator. You're going to love this. At the front, we have part of that um, dehumidifier unit, but guess what? Look, I managed to save this. I put a nice new, had some mesh filter stuff. So that should, uh, that should uh, keep the little coils nice and clean. And that slides in there, look. Beauty. I'm loving it. Got the um, intake and exhaust for outside. So this fan unit here blows out of that exhaust tube, which causes a negative pressure in this area. So air will naturally be drawn in through that hole there from the outside. It will get filtered before it hits the fan. Um, this fan will just blow quite harshly across all the condenser. So that'll keep that nice and cool, hopefully. And then, it'll get, and then again, that'll be extracted and put outside by this fan here. So you've got a constant in and out going on. Um, all this will be sealed. I'm going to seal this up. And then for your evaporator, that will get cold basically. Suck in through the front and blow out cold into the back, into the paper shredder part when the lid's on. And all the cold air is going to get blown out of where you used to put the paper in. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> cool. Oh, just went there and did that, didn't I? Yes, Jason. Pun intended. So yeah, just got to finish sealing up this unit. I'm waiting for all this um, silicone to dry. Mmm, silicone. Yum yum. Oh, I love silicone. Leave it alone, Jace, leave it alone. When the evaporator gets cool, it naturally acts like a dehumidifier. So, this is actually from a dehumidifier. That's half the reason I use this, because it's also got a water gully at the bottom, which goes into that nipple here, right at the back. See that? My fingertips on it. Hard to see on the video. So the water can drip onto there, go through the pipe, and I'm going to curl this round, and that's actually going to go through there, sit there like that, and get attached to that. Awesome. All I've got to do now is gas it up. And I'm going to do another video specifically on gassing this thing because there's quite a lot involved and I want to tell you how it works. If, if you're interested to know how an actual refrigeration cycle it works, how a refrigeration cycle works, then uh, click onto that video as well. And as you can see now, the coil is very, very cold. It's covered in ice crystals. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It looks pretty pretty and you can feel nice cold air coming out of there as always thanks for watching everyone hope you like my air conditioner oh man it's so cool just gonna like get some up my back there oh, oh yeah that's good that's good i think it's something crazy to do next time till then take care oh yeah give me some of that coolness <laughs>